All right. So welcome to module number one. Module number one will be introducing us to the world of hospitality marketing. Now, when we start with hospitality marketing, we need to think about what encompasses this whole idea of hospitality marketing. In this module, we will be discussing in general, what is hospitality and tourism marketing? Is it a science? Is it a field of arts? What is it all about? We'll also talk about some misconceptions about marketing when it comes to hospitality and tourism marketing. In the second part of this module, we will be discussing a five-step model of marketing process. So let me take you to an example of Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings or Double W's is an American fast food chain which focuses on wings. Wings, uh, chicken wings is a culture in the US. Many people love this. Many people share wings with their friends and family, but it's a tradition for people who really love to watch sports. So many people come around in their, on their couch, in their living room, share the wings, have a drink or two, and then watch sports together. Now, this particular chain that I'm talking about, Buffalo Wild Wings, if you don't know about it, I would highly recommend you to look some YouTube advertisements of uh, Buffalo Wild Wings to get an idea of what type of company it is. Buffalo Wild Wings is all about beer, chicken wings and sports. Now you may have seen a lot of bars and pubs that sell beer, so there's nothing new there. There's also a lot of restaurants that sell chicken wings, something like KFC that also sells a lot of chicken meat products, so there's nothing new there. But when we bring chicken wings along with beers and spirits or um, drinks, with sports fandom, it, something, it creates something very new. Now, everything about Buffalo Wild Wings shouts loudly about hospitality marketing. It comes from their physical ambience of the stores to the people who are serving the customers to the menu items to the overall vibe in the store that talks about hospitality marketing. So that is the beauty of hospitality marketing. Like I mentioned in the intro introduction of the course, hospitality marketing is not just a set of tactics or objectives or vision or mission or whatever, it starts and ends with customer. It starts with thinking about what the customer wants, what the customer needs and keeping that at the center of all the decision making. So let's move on to part one of module. Part one of this module will generally talk about hospitality marketing. What is hospitality marketing? Now the difference between marketing and other business fields is very obvious. Most of you must have heard of marketing in one way or another way while growing up. I think about my own kids or people around me, even from a little age, like age of three years old or four year olds, kids even have their favorite cartoon characters or their favorite brands. And that's all because of marketing. So people or human beings start developing their interests, their, their wants, their desires from a very young age. That's not the case with human resource management or finance or whatnot. So marketing holds a very special place. It is one of the most recognized business operations in the world, but it's also the most misconceived or the most, um, the field of business operation that has the most misconceptualizations about it. So before we get into the world of hospitality and tourism marketing, we also need to think about what are some of the misconceptions about marketing. So we are going into an interactive activity onto the next slide. I want you to think about every single statement that comes on your screen. Think about it if it's true or false. And then we will go and think about what are the misconceptions that are generally held by people about marketing. Now, as you see on your screen, if you look at on your screen, you will see a very iconic building. If I ask you what that building is, I'm sure that most of you are going to name something in Dubai. It's Burj Al Arab or Burj Al Khalifa, right? So many people recognize this building that is an iconic building in Dubai. So if you see this building, what comes to your mind? Let's think about it. This is a building. Maybe if I ask you, think about it for a moment. What do you think about this, right? What comes to your mind? And I've done this activity in many of my classes. And most of the time, students come up with uh, things like, rich, shopping, expensive, luxury, gold, oil, all these things that are associated with Dubai as a destination. Now, when I ask people, how many of you have been to Dubai? All these people who are telling me these terminologies, 95% of those people have never been to Dubai. So the question is, if they have not been to Dubai, how do they know about all those terminologies and how do they associate those terminologies with a destination like Dubai? 
It's simply because of marketing. It's simply because of a successful marketing campaign that has developed different perceptions and attitudes in people's mind about different destinations. Now, when we think about hospitality and tourism industry, it's a huge industry. More than a billion people travel every year internationally. Forget about the local travel or domestic travel. We are talking about the international travel. These people travel to different destinations, they stay at different accommodations, they eat in different food and beverage establishments, and they spend a lot of money. Now, when we think about hospitality and tourism industry, what is the main focus? So the main focus is always about ensuring that the guests are happy, the customers are satisfied, and value is provided to them. So this industry, as a general, is heavily committed to customer satisfaction and providing customer value, which makes it even more important to study the concepts of marketing when it comes to hospitality and tourism industry. So my question to all of you is to think about what is the purpose of a business? Most of the businesses that are operating around us, if you think about why do they operate, what is their main objective? There's only one objective, and that one objective is to maintain profitable customer base and to maintain satisfied and profitable customers. Now, why am I using these two words, satisfied and profitable? So satisfaction simply means that you are meeting the needs and wants of your customers. And once these needs and wants are met, customers would ensure that they are loyal to your brand and they keep coming back to your brand again and again, which would then ensure profitability of the business. Now, there are not a lot of businesses or pretty much there are no businesses around us that can claim that they exist only to satisfy customers and not for profitability because at the end of the day, these are for profit businesses and they do require profits to run their operations. Now, the question would be, should companies focus more on customer satisfaction or should companies focus more on profitability? Now, the answer to this would depend on the type of company we are talking about. Obviously, not all the companies are same. Not all the branding is the same. That's why not all companies have the same objective. We can see a lot of organizations that focus on customer satisfaction around us. At the same time, we can see a lot of organizations that focus on profitability. The good thing is that the companies, either way, if they are true to their objectives, whatever their objective is, that works very fine for them. We have a lot of companies like, uh, for example, a good example would be Spirit Airlines, which is a famous airline in the US. Many people don't like it. If you go and read the reviews, you would think that it's a horrible, horrible airline, but it's also one of the most successful airlines. And the reason for that is because Spirit Airline has its own business objective and that's to provide the cheapest tickets. Now, of course, when they are providing cheaper tickets, they have to cut the cost from somewhere else, which is ensuring customer satisfaction. So in that case, like I said, as far as the company is clear to what their objectives are, whether they want to focus on satisfaction or whether they want to focus on profitability, if they are true to those objectives, they can run successfully in the business world. The next question for us is, is hospitality marketing an art or a, or a form of a science? Usually when I was little, when I was growing up in my home country of Pakistan, many people that I've talked to, they were in the business of marketing, but it was an interesting way of looking at marketing. So these people that I'm talking about, they were either selling insurance plans to others, either they were medical representatives selling medicines to different doctors and hospitals. They would always say that I am in business of marketing. So when I was growing up, my perceptions of marketing were only limited to sales. Uh, later on, when I started reading more about marketing and learning about marketing, uh, I realized that I was so much wrong about marketing, right? So marketing is a much bigger concept than sales. Of course, advertising and sales is a major component of marketing, but that's not all, right? So uh, there's much more stuff in marketing. As you can see on the screen, there's a graph that shows that marketing has usually a promotional element. It also has a non-promotional element as well as some other elements. So usually in promotional element, we have sales and advertising, like I mentioned, but then we also have non-promotional elements of marketing, which includes the other three P's of marketing, including the product, including the price and the distribution channels. Now, of course, for a company to decide on what type of advertisement they want, what type of sales strategies they want, or what type of product, price, or promotion they want, 
They also need some support systems, which are the other elements of marketing. And this include research and development, information systems, as well as planning. So here is an interesting video in this slide, which you will watch. The video comes from Emily Chang, who was the chief brand manager for Holiday Inn. It's her, this is her own story that is shown in this video. And once you see this video, you will be in a better position to think about whether marketing is a sale, is a form of art, or if it's a form of science. Uh, the question is still unknown. The answer is unknown. The question is unanswered. It's for you to decide what do you think about it. But enjoy the video and let's move on. Hey, <laughs> 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 